Hello, welcome back everybody to 2K CW. And we are now witnessing the in-ring debut of Devin Andrews. The older brother of GAW Academy Champion Kurt Andrews. Devin made his first appearance here a couple of weeks ago. Saying that he is done being overlooked by all the talent scouts for all the other major promotions and that he's done his time in the underground in the underground leagues of fighting and that he's ready the time is now for his time to shine and he's gonna do it here making his debut in 2k CW Going to be taking on Buck McCoy of the Red River Connection. Certainly a tough task at hand for Buck McCoy, but not everybody wins in their debut. That's just a statement of fact. Red River Connection make their way down to the ring. They've not done so hot here in uh, tag team action here in 2KCW. So this could be a little bit of a breakout moment for Buck McCoy in the singles division. But we'll have to wait and see if that garners any kind of success. But if you're coming up against somebody like Devin Andrews, uh, you might as well just quit while you're ahead. Because Devin Andrews is a force to be reckoned with inside the squared circle. I think Buck's going to learn that the hard way. Buck now willing to shake hands with Devin. And, oh! Well. Son, I think you just dug your own grave. And, uh, here we go. Devin not taking to that real lightly. Follow a slam out of the gate. To Buck McCoy. Now Buck sliding in and out of the ring to cause a little bit of a, a bit of confusion for Devin, but Keith playing peacekeeper here, at least for the moment, for Buck. And now Devin Andrews raining down a series of strikes, and that's where the background of underground fighting comes into play here. My God. He just poked the proverbial bear there, Buck. I would not want to be on the receiving end. Butterfly suplex from Buck McCoy. Now Devin being rammed right into the ring apron. Now Keith. He's got to be careful to keep his distance. German suplex. He's got to be sure that he... Does not throw this match out in this qualification. It'd be a, it'd be a win for it'd be a win for Buck, but or for Devin, but splash in the corner from Buck to Andrews. Fireman's carries position into the Samoan drop from Devin Andrews. Whoa, small package here from Buck McCoy too. That'd be a embarrassing loss on your first night by a small package that's for sure now buck with the gator roll on andrew shoots the half into the cover that's really not going to get the job done no way in hell now buck head scissors Run the collarbone. And Buck still continuing to go to work here. Running knee. Right on the side of the head of Devin Andrews. But now Devin's starting to fight back here against Buck. With a reverse STO. And a minute there. Missing the punt kick did Buck. 
Well, half Nelson suplex. I'll be honest, I did not expect these. I didn't see these two very much backstage, but these two guys are absolutely huge in the way they're throwing each other around the ring. I hope the ring is reinforced. And now Devin, so they buck into the corner, running knee strike, running to the abdomen. And Devin laying down kicks. Up and over for a guillotine drop. Off the middle rope. And now Andrews setting up for the final judgment of Buck McCoy. Cover here, Keith trying to distract the referee. Referee paying no attention to Keith and Devin Andrews picks up the win in his debut. Devin made it clear in his first appearance that he does have a short-term contract that I can't confirm for you folks, but, and he wants Eric Anderson and the two KCW heavyweight title, but in my opinion, and I think a lot of people's opinions that he's going to earn that right to fight for the heavyweight title, but and currently the man who holds that distinction is Reed Carter. Either he defeated Ultimate Death a couple of weeks ago, and he defeated the current champion, Eric Anderson, right before Unfinished Business. But there you saw the final judgment from Devin Andrews. And that's going to do it for Buck McCoy this week. But speaking of Eric Anderson, folks, we're not going to have to wait very long because he's going to be in a unfinished business rematch against Leroy Punch Beef. Don't go anywhere. The Norse Horse making his First appearance as 2KCW champion. Look at that. Now that is a proud champion that we can... That's a champion we can be proud of here. I say that because Leroy Punchbeef, in his first night as champion, he did not even wear the damn belt to the ring. The Iceman, the Norse horse, Eric Anderson, as 2KCW champion. He definitely does the title proud for those who also held that belt, like Mr. Brody Lee, then head coach Slick Wagner Brown, and assistant head coach Sean Carr over in the training academy up in Syracuse. As we are coming to you from Utica tonight. And here comes the aforementioned former 2KCW champion, Leroy Punchbeef. who I would say is still a little peeved over the loss at Unfinished Business, but um, as, your, as your mother probably said, don't make silly faces because they're going to be stuck that way, and that might be the case for Leroy Punchbeef, that he, as, a, um, as the kids say, a resting bitch face. But... Um, I wouldn't say that to his face. I'm safely here backstage saying that to him. So, yeah. All said and done. A rematch from Unfinished Business, folks. Leroy Punchbeef and Eric Anderson. Menzo's about to get underway here. And, well... We mentioned Reed Carter earlier on, and uh, there he is, the number one contender for Eric Anderson's 2KCW title. Reed Carter making his way down here at ringside, probably going to get a close look at his... I mean, Reed's already beaten Anderson once before. Probably going to look to survey any more holes in 
Anderson's arsenal, but here we go. Running drop kick out of the corner from Anderson. The punch beef. Following suit, wrist lock control. And an arm drag off the top rope. And there's no denying that Punch Beef is a kind of disturbed individual, but he's very impressive in the ring. Has a very high ring IQ acumen. Kick misses from Punch Beef. Anderson now into the corner, running uppercut. In the corner to Leroy Punch Beef. And stomp to the left arm. Would soften up a lot of the arsenal from Leroy Punch Beef. And now Punch Beef starting to tee off on the champion. Fireman's carry position. And drape him up and over the top rope. The cover and only a one count from the champion. And now going around the world. Here we go into the roll up pin here. And Anderson counters back and forth. We go like a seesaw. My God here. Anderson still getting the best of Leroy Punch Beef. Believe it or not, this is still only the third match between these two guys. I would have thought they'd be fighting for ages. And it's only their third match together. And it elevated. Power bomb there from Leroy Punch Beef. Chop, counter for counter, tip for tap. Standing suplex. Oh, we're gonna go for the three amigos from Leroy Punch Beef. There's two and three. Now Punch Beef going for the slap chop to Eric Anderson. This is how he won the title. And two KCW Thunder at least at one fall at one point in their Iron Man match. The two, KC, two KCW Thon. And now Anderson with Odin's bidding. I'm sorry, that's not Odin's bidding. That's looks like a dragon sleeper slam. And now these two just battling it out here. And punch beef sent up and over the top rope. And the crowd here in Utica is absolutely in love with it. Now the champion Ian is challenger. Don't turn your back on Carter. Anderson still not letting go of Ricard out of his sights and oh whoa. Both former champion and challenger are taken out by the Norse horse. As this match will continue. Anderson swinging neck breaker. I think Reed's had enough. He's had all he wants to see. Anderson up on the top rope looking for the Valkyrie strike. Looking to decapitate. Punch Beef counters with a power slam. Wouldn't be the first time we saw that. And now Punch Beef with the Butcher special on Eric Anderson. Anderson able to fight on the submission. Back elbow, that would definitely knock Punch Beef even more loopy than he already is. So another swing neck breaker from Eric Anderson. Anderson now. Punch Beef set up in the corner again. More uppercuts in the corner. And going post to post. Looking to knock the living daylights out of Punch Beef. And then a running drop kick. Beautifully done from the champion. And now, Odin's bidding. 
from Eric Anderson. That's gonna do it. The Eric Anderson is your victor in the rematch from Unfinished Business. There's that power slam counter from Punch Beef. Sorry, that was the Odin spinning that we did see earlier. My mistake. Let me add that to the tally. Eric Anderson. First win as the champion. And we are proud to have him. Ladies and gentlemen, I am being told that Cindy Danger of the Suicide Blondes has requested a microphone as she is making her way down to the ring here. We'll have to wait and see what she has to say. I'll admit when I'm wrong. Charlie Evans has beaten myself and Paige in singles matches over the last few weeks. Charlie may still be considered an underdog in most cases, but for us, she's still a dog with no bite. Yes, I did shake her hand, but that was only to give her a false sense of security. If she's so damn good, then why not take on the both of us at the same time? At Adrenaline, Charlie Evans versus the Suicide Blondes in a handicap match. Well... There's the challenge right there from Cindy Danger being accompanied by Paige Storm to take on Charlie Evans at Adrenaline in a handicap match. Let's see if we get a response from Charlie. But ladies and gentlemen, now is the time for our main event. The most unlikely duo of Cameron Neo and Curtis Christian taking on Smooth as Silk. And believe it or not, they've still the newest tag team, but they've defeated everybody in the, in the tag division except for Smooth as Silk. And I would almost have to argue that if they can do that, then they've already earned the right to face the Awakening for the two KCW tag team titles, possibly at Adrenaline. It's just absolutely astounding that, I mean, you never know what happens when you put together two individuals. I mean, magic can happen. I mean, look at Cesaro and Sheamus. That they were best, they were besting each other in a best of five series and eventually became tag team partners and champions across several promotions, but. Christian and Cameron have to take on Smooth as Silk, the only tag team that they have not faced. And be the only tag team they have not faced except for the tag team champions, so. The Smooth as Silk has had a few opportunities at the tag team titles. been unsuccessful in capturing said title so here we go our main event of the evening tag team action Cameron and Isaac starting things off here slam from Isaac York to Cameron Neo and now with a it's hard to tell what we got here oh he's got a knee bar okay he's got a knee bar in on Cameron Neo and now Neo just teeing off on Isaac. Now Neo sends Smooth as Silk's corner into the clothesline. And whoa, oh, come on now. Two on one advantage on the rookies. Chop. To Cameron Neo. And again, 
Wrong part of town for Cameron. And Dynamite trying to... Still taking advantage. Tag made. Here comes Curtis Christian. And an axe handle right into the arm of Isaac York. But now Isaac's taking advantage. This is what comes with tag team experiences. Strategy, and they're obviously doing that by isolating either member of either member of Christian or Cameron. Now Dynamite in the opposite corner. Be able to fight out of it with a quick kick right to the face of Christian. You know, Dynamite or Isaac. As we're looking to get a tag team maneuver, a double team maneuver in by the referee. Send back out on the apron. Running drop kick from Curtis Christian. Here he comes in again with another one. Again. Going to the wrong part of town. Dynamite taking care of Cameron by ejecting him out on the floor. Tag made. Sweeping the legs. And then rolling through into an innovative maneuver there from Smooth as Silk. Now Isaac trying to get the crowd here in Utica to get behind him and Dynamite Curtis, but the fans obviously taking more of a liking to Cameron and Curtis. Running forearm right into the face of Isaac York. Cameron's still going to work on Isaac here. And now Isaac with a brain buster, or excuse me, Cameron with a brain buster. To Isaac Yard, Isaac counters with a sharp uppercut there. Tag made. Here comes Dynamite. Double team maneuver there, double clothesline to Cameron. I don't want to say that Curtis has probably more of the ring experience than Cameron, but uh, I wouldn't want to be in there for too long if I were Cameron with a few years of experience and training. Sweeps the leg, does dynamite. Just really working the lower half of the right leg of Cameron Neo there. You obviously really mess up your Achilles tendon, especially if you slip on a heel hook just right. You can do some serious damage into the ligaments of your right ankle. Or the ankle, rather, and running Bulldog from Dynamite. But Cameron able to still fight back and he's got some energy in that body another monkey flip out of the corner from Dynamite Curtis Dynamite still in full control here Dynamite looking looking to hit implosion on Cameron Neo into the cover here to beat the rookies and cutting off Curtis to save Cameron And Cameron's still fighting back here. Super kick misses from Cameron Neo. And look, even Dynamite using his own partner's finisher, the exclamation point DDT. And now Curtis. Curtis Christian fighting back here. It's a backbreaker for his efforts. Tag made. Here comes. I believe this is actually the first time that Curtis Christian's been in this match the entire time here. So Cameron definitely needs a reprieve. Well, he's had some tags in and out, but this is the longest, I would argue, that Curtis has been in the match. Keeping control of the leg into a leg drop from 
Isaac. Uh, step up. Drop kick. Taken down. Curtis Christian here into the cover. Christian still getting the kick out. Now Isaac isolating the left shoulder. Focusing more onto the rotator. Cuff on Curtis Christian. Wear down the arm. He's definitely done his homework knowing, knowing that he uses that uh, elevated DDT to his advantage. Isaac may have been looking for the exclamation point DDT of its own. Catched and thrown by Curtis Christian. And speaking of that DDT, we're going to see it right here. The down to earth. From Curtis Christian, cover here. Dynamite right there to break it up. Referee trying to regain order in our tag team main event here. Flying cross body from Curtis Christian. Atomic drop. Follows up into a, foul, into a slam there. And Isaac making the tag. Here comes Dynamite Curtis. And Christian looking for those running dropkick duos, but he misses. Running right into the turnbuckle. And now Dynamite going to work on Curtis Christian. This Cameron can't do much but to just stand there and watch. Two staff into the cover goes Dynamite. Two count and Christian gets the shoulder up. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is a classic in tag team wrestling. If I've ever seen it. Jawbreaker from Christian. What a great match for our main event between two great tag teams here. Ooh. Right into the ring apron and Hope that Christian's okay. Dynamite throwing K Curtis into the ring and into the corner. Isaac just getting back up on the apron now. And snake eyes to Curtis Christian. And it looks like Christian's been busted open, folks. Driver right into the shoulder. Of Curtis Christian, double leg takedown from Curtis Christian. Yeah, I believe Curtis Christian's been busted open. It looks like maybe when he got rammed right into the ring apron earlier on by Dynamite. Now Christian, the next snap. Continuing to work on the legs of Dynamite Curtis. And Dynamite able to break free and running clothesline into the corner. But Curtis still trying to... Looking to hit a flying forearm, but I believe just because he's... Nose starting to swell up that he can't see. Obviously taking advantage of standing drop kick from Dynamite. Cover here. And Cameron right there to break up the pinfall. And he pays dearly for his efforts with a sit out. Slam there from Dynamite. Uppercut from Christian. And now Christian again. Curtis Christian going for the running drop kicks and now now this time I believe now it's Dynamite who's suffering from a broken nose. And there's an elevated DDT from Curtis Christian floating into the cover here. And Dynamite barely able to kick out. Isaac was right there to try and break it up if that wasn't the case. In case of Dynamite couldn't break free in a left hand right across the mush. Of Curtis Christian off the ropes spinning back elbow. From Dynamite. Isolation. 
From Smooth to Silk as Isaac makes the tag. Fireman's carrying again another set of snake eyes. Kurt, Curtis Christian into the cover here. It's gonna be enough, no. Christian still staying alive. Now Isaac, teardrop suplex on the outside on the floor. Very thin padding out there. And the fans here getting a close look. They're possibly the next challengers for the tag team titles, but not like this though. Christian throws Isaac back inside the ring. And now Christian with a power bomb here. To the cover and Dynamite able to break it up and he transitions into a Boston Crab here. Is Isaac going to tap out to the Boston Crab? No. Barely able to get Christian off his back. And now Christian shooting the half into the cover here. And that's going to do it that Curtis Christian and Cameron Neal pick up the victory. I don't know if Isaac more or less escaped the Boston Crab or he passed out because there's obviously a little bit of confusion between Cameron and Curtis. And there's the implosion swinging neckbreaker from Dynamite earlier on on Cameron. And then there's the down to earth from Curtis Christian. So. At the end of the day here, folks, Cameron Neal and Curtis Christian have defeated every tag team except for the tag team champions that they have not faced them yet. So, what's going to become at 2KCW Adrenaline? We're going to have to wait and find out. We have to end the show here. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe so you don't miss any more action, whether it's RCW or 2KCW. Have a good night, everybody.